multiple cases of novel H1N1 reappear in Scripps Ranch in late September. Early cases are not recognized as influenza and are treated conservatively, affording the opportunity for transmission to schoolmates and family. The vaccine for the novel H1N1 will not be ready for distribution in large volumes until late October. And uh, because of this, we need to stand up our uh, command post. Uh, we, we will take the incident and manage it as we move forward. At any time that we need to expand the incident command staff, um, uh, what I will do is communicate that out through the section chiefs. And uh, Section Chief Nancy will determine if it's appropriate to um, relay that information to staff. Uh, are there any questions right now? Just if you'd like to utilize those. And again, the signs could be changed. There's quite a few patients in the waiting room that need to be triaged. Uh, one idea I had, but I'm open to other suggestions, is that perhaps the OR could be used for the most severe patients. We could put quite a few patients in that area. And if they are not as severe and could be discharged, they could actually walk down this hall. Um, they could pick up their antivirals right at the pharmacy, and they could head out of the hospital. Um, but I'm open to other suggestions. Don't forget to wash your hands. There is personal uh, protective equipment back to, against the wall. Make sure you protect your mucous membranes, wearing a mask and gloves and goggles. That's, uh, I was thinking this time we would use the ESI triage. Yeah, that seems to work better for flu Sounds good. Who wants to be in charge today? I mean, as in a regular charge nurse role. Where is the area that we can use is the OR? The OR area that we'll use for critical care? Yeah, see it's down this way, just around the corner here. Where is it past the pharmacy? It's on your left is the OR area, and then all of these beds have been made available to us on the right as well. OR section here then, right? Right. So, Lorenzo, if you want to assign which rooms would be ESI 3 or um, 5. Okay. Uh, so the situation at hand right now? The situation at hand right now is we have a bunch of patients in our waiting room and we're setting up our surge area. Okay. Um, uh, Lorenzo, do you want to assign who the C department would like to be in TRIA? Who would be the minor area? I'm, when we did the last drill, it seemed like it was better to have everybody start at triage and then um, assign people to spaces after um, after we saw kind of what we were dealing with. Okay. That was reasonable. We uh, only have three nurses, so one's going to have to be in triage, one in the hall, and one uh, in the OR if, eventually. Okay. Or, I think that one of the things we could do is um, – assign somebody to the minor area where we're still sending the fours and fives who's not a nurse. That's a good idea. All they need is directions. They're not going to need a lot of medical care. So, so and I would guess in this scenario we would have a pharmacist. So we'll, how about we assign the pharmacist to the minor treatment area? Okay. So at this point, too, um, Eric, we are going to need more nursing staff. Um, at this time, the only resources we have are, are to help us out with that. It's going to be the group that's on hand. The best thing for, uh, the best way to use you and utilize you would be to have you uh, transport patients after they have been uh, triaged to the appropriate area. So all CAT 3s will go in the hall, and uh, all CAT 2s will end up going in the OR. All CAT 4s and CAT 5s will end up going towards the pharmacy area. And uh, I'll be helping you with that. Okay, got it. And, uh, and uh, what exam room are you going to be taking, or triage room? Lorenzo, we need to make a separate area for medical patients. Do you want to separate and uh, use these front rooms for medical purposes, or should we use the ones? I think the ones in the back should be better for the flu patients then. I agree. Anybody else got any suggestions? As the logistics chief, I can tell you that there is another holding area at the end of the hallway, so there is a separate holding uh, seating area if you wish to use that. Is that as the flu then and keep the hall for medical? That's your call.
Is it possible to have negative pressure in all of those rooms there that are down the hall? Yes, we could use the rooms, uh, the CAT-3 rooms for negative pressure. And the CAT-2 rooms as well in the OR? Uh, not so much the CAT-2, just the CAT-3s. Can you answer, is there any can clear the hallways so it won't be as crowded? Yeah. Now, yeah, it looks like uh, at the end of the hall, we could probably use it for medical patients and uh, try to put in all the flu patients actual rooms with the reverse isolation here in the hall uh, instead of using them for all CAT 3s. Sounds good. Can everybody find their way around? Where's the, um, the OR again for the, the critical care patient? Across from the CAT 3 rooms, over here, through this door on the right. I'm a little bit worried about Tanya here. I just checked her, her vitals, and I think her systolic's 89. Yeah. Have you started triaging yet? Has anybody started triaging? Not yet. Okay. Uh, uh, Lorenzo, I'm going to go help and triage if you're going to be in a situation up there. Uh, and Nancy's in the middle of it, so it's tough for her. But can you give me a brief of what's going on? Um, we are still trying to figure out which rooms to categor categorize for the triage. Uh, as far as I can tell right now, we're going to do negative pressure on the hallway rooms, 141 to 144. We're going to use the area outside the cafeteria for med uh, triage, and the tattoos will be in the surgery suite. Um, the staff are beginning to triage the patient. We'll have a better idea once some of the triage is done, how sick the patients are and what needs we're going to need for ventilators and further medical care. Great, then I'll wait to hear from you on that. If we could uh, have an update in five minutes. That's if they're not CAT 4s and CAT 5s, correct, because we're treating them outpatient also. Can I help you? Hi. Oh, I have a cough and a sore throat, and I've had this fever for four days, and it just it won't go away no matter what I do. I have a lady that I'm leading now with uh, to get me in 88% sats. I think I might take her to the OR. Okay. Um, we have one person. How can I help you? Might need a um, yeah, ventilator. This morning with um, just, I can't see. Is there anything more doctors? Reverse isolation. And use uh, any room in front of it. Because the one with the zero in front of it is for medical only. Okay, so go across the hall. I have had no reports. You actually, you're in the right place. Up five in the OR. We have four right now that are flu, and um, three that are medical. The medical ones are in um, ORC, and OR A and B are the flu ones. Thank you. I'm going to go back up and triage. So we have plenty of space back there for medical patients. We have one, we have one patient in this room. About six or seven. Um, Isolation kind of two patients, so the OR is getting overcrowded. That's correct. We could switch another room. Um, I will ask the incident commander if there's space in the ICU. Um, Hello, everybody. If uh, we could all meet at the nurse's station now. Just give everybody a mask. It's, um, it's right there. Every time I go in, I see it and go out, I see it. And maybe if we can put it outside the room. This is a much bigger ED.